It's time for another Out of Bounds Rewind with Bo Bounds on ESPN 105.9, The Zone. You know, it was almost a steal because there were a lot of people that thought that Elijah Moore could go somewhere between 21 and 32 in the first round, and yet there he is in the second round for the Jets. Did the Jets look at it like that, that they felt like they got a steal with that pick? Yeah, I was going to say, you could definitely make that argument, and I know somebody who would, and that's Joe Douglas, the general manager, and Robert Sala, the head coach. They were both ecstatic to still get him, and they normally I don't ever believe GMs when they give you the, you know, we got three guys in the top 25 of our rankings, but this one, they believed it. I believed it from them. He's just an exceptional player. They've done a lot of rebuilding of the wide receiver core, and he fits in perfectly what they were lacking still. So they're incredibly excited to have such a talent there. And uh, we were watching some of the um, highlights over the weekend on the NFL Network of Zach Wilson, a quarterback out of BYU, throwing to Elijah Moore. Um, so there's no doubt in Jets land that uh, Zach Wilson's going to start day one. I mean, you know, they're, they're trying to tamper that down, but also they don't have any other veteran quarterbacks on the roster right now. It's James Morgan who they drafted out of uh, last year. Um, he's the only other one there. So it, they're going to bring in somebody, a Brian Hoyer or Nick Mullins probably. But in, unless Zach Wilson just looks completely lost in training camp or preseason, he's going to be the starter at this point. All right. So um... – They'll grow together, Zach Wilson and Elijah Moore with the Jets. But, you know, is Moore expected to be a big piece of the offense right out of the gate, Chris? Yeah, this this is interesting because, again, they upgraded the wide receiver core. They signed Corey Davis. Uh, they brought in Keelan Cole. They have uh, Jamison Crowder and Denzel Mims, who they took in the second round last year. And the, Jamison Crowder is their reliable slot receiver right now. He's getting paid $10 million, though, so if they see enough of Elijah Moore out of camp, they could absolutely decide, okay, we're just going to save that $10 million. But I also think they can absolutely coexist on the same uh, receiver core. Uh, Jamison Crowder is just a pure slot, and where Elijah Moore is going to do a lot of his damage and play in the slot, he's uh, kind of like a slot plus. He can go outside. He can do some more things. So they can coexist. I'd, I'd expect, you know, probably he'll do some start out the season getting limited reps, but by the end of the season, I think you'll expect to see him carve out a huge role for himself. Okay, so he may not start, but he'll be in the rotation uh, right out of the shoot, and right. mid-season, this guy could be a starter for the New York Jets. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you guys know you watch him in college. You see the potential there. Um, obviously we'll have to see exactly how training camp goes, make sure there's no hiccups with COVID, all that, just to make a smooth transition for him. But he's got the potential to be that type of playmaker and a playmaker the Jets haven't had in a really long time. And, again, he's he offers something different than what the other receivers they have. And I think you're going to see they brought in LaFleur, the OC from uh, San Francisco last year. He's going to run a lot of that Shanahan system. I think you're going to see Elijah Moore – in that Debo Samuel role uh, about halfway through the season, I think you're going to expect him to kind of take over that role and just solidify it. Yeah, he's a big-time player, Chris. I mean, y'all, you're getting a big-time player, and he's a big-time locker room guy too. So um, that's going to be a a huge asset for the the New York Jets. Don't miss one moment of the Out of Bounds Show with Bo Bounds. Weekdays, 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. On ESPN 105.9. The Zone.